So I've got two very important techniques to explain today that most riders, whether beginner, expert or pro, will benefit from. At the end of the video, I'll also talk a little bit about one common mistake that I see a lot of riders are making on the trail, plus I'll offer a little bit of advice to manage that leg fatigue on long, flowy trails. Okay, the first technique I want to explain to you is maybe a golden rule of mountain biking, perhaps one of the most important things. And what it is, is to loosen up a little bit on the bike. So what I mean by that is you want to be active on the bike. Um, not a static hold position, you want your body to be moving around. So from the ankles through to the knees, into the hips, and then the shoulders, elbows and wrists, everything's moving around a little bit on the bike. And the reason why you're doing that is your body is actually the best suspension. And if you use the suspension that you've got within your limbs and your, and your uh, joints, you're actually going to be able to flow with the trail and absorb the hits a lot better than if you were super static on the bike. What I like to say is, think of the fork and the shock. The job of the fork and the shock is actually to keep the tires in contact with the ground, so you've got maximum grip, but the real ability to ride fast on a techie trail and to be smooth is to use your limbs. So that's all of the joints, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, elbows, wrists. Everything is moving around. So from a vertical upright position like this when the trail's smooth, all the way down into a squat position depending on what the trail demands. So the second golden rule is what I call the 90-10 principle. And let me explain the concept behind it. Imagine this is a two meter long pole and I've got a 20 kilo kettlebell strapped to the top. If I want to try and hold the pole and the kettlebell upright, it's going to be very difficult, right? Because the sense of gravity is high. The system will want to slam the whole time that I'm trying to hold it upright. However, if I flip it around and the weight's at the bottom, 20 kilo weight at the bottom, and try and hold the pole upright, it's going to be pretty easy because the sense of gravity is low, it's not going to want to slam, and it's going to be pretty easy to keep things upright. Okay? So that's kind of the concept that I'm talking about. When you're on your mountain bike, it's, you're the same kind of system. You're something heavy on top of something light. So the most important thing when you're flowing on techie trails is to make sure you lower your sense of gravity. And the way to do that is to place the majority of your body weight onto the pedals. It's about 90% of your body weight. That's also a number that moves around and that's also a number that varies from rider to rider. But I use, it, I use the 90% because it helps people understand just how much of their body weight they need to bias onto the pedals. So when I'm on the bike now, I have very little weight on my bars and most of my body weight is going into the pedals and you can imagine how low the sense of gravity is now because most of my body is going, most of the weight's on my pedals. So with this approach, with this 90-10 principle, your system is gonna be super, super stable. Your body weight's low, you're moving around a little bit. Um, every now and then there's a little more weight on the bars, but my default position is constantly to weight, as m to shift as much of my body weight onto the pedals. Here's Faranak showing us how. Yeah, so that looks like about 90%. You got most of your weight on the pedals, not much weight on your bars. Um, bike is super stable because the sense of gravity is low and you're, you can charge. Right, so a super easy mistake to make when riding on the trail is to keep your shoulders too stiff. So that static braced position just literally raises your sense of gravity and it also doesn't allow you to absorb the hits with your arms if you're keeping your shoulders super stiff. So you don't want to be on a mountain bike bracing your shoulders like bracing for a contact. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed, have the bars moving towards you the whole time as you're riding. So a tip to help you manage fatigue and stay fresh on those long flowy downhills. So when you're on the bike and in, on a long flowy downhill, you're basically in a semi-squat most of the time, you know, like a, the knees moving a little bit, but you're in the semi-squat position. So what I want you to try next time you're on a long flowy downhill trail is look for a smooth portion of trail and when you see that smooth portion of trail straighten the knee so go from that semi squat to a straight knee position 
Now the key is the knee is not locked, okay, but the knee, the leg is straight. And what happens when I'm in this position is the quad is now completely loose and relaxed. So if you go back to that semi-squat position, you can see I'm using my quads a lot, using my legs a lot, and as soon as I go to the straight leg position to recover, the quad is completely relaxed. You'll be surprised how much recovery you get, even if you can go to this position for only a second or two, you'll be surprised how much fresher it makes you. So as soon as the trail gets rough again, you can go back into that semi-squat and absorb the hits. So this is a technique, if you watch a lot of World Cup racing, you'll see the likes of Hathely, Minar, Van der Poel, Neff, Pitcock, everyone uses this technique. So now if you're on a long downhill, stand up, disconnect from the saddle, look forward like you're going down the trail. Now on a long downhill, you'd be in a semi-squat using your arms and legs to absorb the trail, yeah? And then when you see a smooth portion of trail, you straighten the knee completely and the quad relaxes in the process. So there, recovers a bit. That's it, everybody. If you've enjoyed this edit, please like and drop a comment below so we know and can make more of them for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you on the trails.